This uh, December 12th, 2018 meeting of the Wheaton Park District Board of Commissioners, the 144th <laughs> such meeting of Mike Bernard's career here with the Wheaton Park District. Right there. Uh, Mike, would you call the roll? Certainly. Commissioner Morrill. Here. Commissioner Me. Here. Commissioner Kelly. Here. Commissioner Fry. Here. President Byers. Here. Uh, see, so we have presentations on the agenda tonight. Hello. We do indeed. Hi, Amy. Gonna make this a little bit taller. Um, hi everyone, my name is Amy Saglecki and I'm the Marketing and Special Events Coordinator for the Park District. Um, today I am honored to share some of the um, awards and accomplishments that the Park District has um, accomplished in 2018. So while I'm not able to share obviously all of them, all 30 pages worth, um, I'm just excited to highlight just a few from each department with you. So the Recreation Department maintained a district-wide cancellation rate of 21%. So between 25% um, and 17% has been the last four seasons. They implemented a new Wide Horizons preschool enrollment fee, which generated approximately $6,500 in additional revenue. The athletic department was very busy this year. Um, they expanded the red, white, and blue tournament by 31 teams, resulting in an extra $9,000 um, in collected team registrations. The Wheaton Wing Spring Classic Tournament hosted 234 teams with approximately 3,750 players. It was the largest tournament ever hosted in the Wheaton Park District and Wheaton Wing Soccer Club history. The Finance Department reorganized the Recreation Department budget entries to make the budget process more manageable for them. And they also completed their first full year with Paylocity, which was um, quite the project, but everyone's happy that that's um, done and over. Um, the Human Resources, they researched and implemented um, a new insurance carrier, saving the Park District um, around $330,000 annually. Special facilities, um, the Cosley Zoo duck and chicken feeding saw an increase of 27% from 2017. That's up um, $31,500. The museum installed six new exhibits, four at the museum, one at the library, and one at Arrowhead. The museum was voted the Daily Herald's Reader's Choice. Um, exercising with Parkinson's class increased participation by 40% compared to 2017, and this is due to the collaboration with Northwestern Medicine. Silver, silver sneaker revenue is on track to increase by over $6,000 compared to 2017. There was the redesign and then built of the new rail skate park, um, and it's been highly received by the community and has received a lot of great reviews, so that's exciting. Uh, all three lifeguard safety audits through Ellis and Associates scored exceeds. Arrowhead Golf Course was named the best of the West in Western Suburban Living Readers polls. Um, Arrowhead also installed a new trolley and terrace with enhanced menu options. They also hosted the first movie night on the golf course, which was a big success with over 400 people registered. The marketing department uh, rebranded and designed the seasonal program guide into more of a magazine format, which was easier for people uh, to find information. The reindeer run was listed by Chicago Athlete Magazine as the top 100 races in the state of Illinois. Uh, we received the Best Friend of Illinois Parks Large Business Award for IAPD's Best of the Best with our partnership with First Trust Portfolios. We also received an award for the philanthropic support of parks and programs presented by the National Association of Parks Foundation. And sponsorship revenue totaled $285,000 for, for 2018, which was up $11,000 from 2017. And that is my very short list of all of the accomplishments. <laughs> Any uh, anybody sign up for community input, Donna? Nope. All right, let's move on to the consent agenda. Does somebody have a motion ready? I'll do it for a change. Um, <laughs> move to approve the consent agenda uh, items A through G, A approval of disbursements totaling $1,145,584.03 for the period beginning November 7, 2018 and ending December 4, 2018. B, approval of the November 14, 2018 regular meeting minutes. C, approval of the December 5, 2018 subcommittee meeting minutes. D, approval of the 2019 Wheaton Park District Board of Commissioners subcommittee and regular meeting dates. E, approval of the Arrowhead Restaurant Point of Sale software upgrades at a cost of 14,500 with Transform Inc. Uh, slash digital dining. F, approval of payment to CASA of DuPage for Brewfest partnership proceeds at a cost not to exceed 20,000. And finally, G, approval of payment 
to JBR Fundways for Kazi Zoo Kitty Carnival Partnership proceeds at a cost not to exceed $17,000. Second. Okay, we have a motion by me, second by Fry. Any discussion? Mike, would you call the roll? Commissioner Me? Yes. Commissioner Kelly? Yes. Commissioner Fry? Yes. Commissioner Morrell? Yes. President Vire? Yes. Uh, on the new business, uh, our 2019 budget and appropriation ordinance. Does uh, somebody have a motion ready? I'll move for the adoption of the two 2019 budget and appropriation ordinance 2018-05. Second. So we have a motion by Fry, second by Morrill. Any discussion? I just want to commend Mike and the staff and Rita for you know putting it together once again. It's a big budget and it's looking good. Thank you. Any other discussion? Mike, would you call the roll? Commissioner Kelly? Yes. Commissioner Fry? Yes. Commissioner Morrill? Yes. Commissioner Me? Yes. President Vires? Yes. Uh, tax levy ordinance, item two. Somebody have a motion ready? I move approval of the ordinance 2018-06, uh, ordinance levying and assessing taxes on the Wheaton Park District for the tax year 2018. Second. Motion by Morrill, second by Fry. Any discussion? Mike, would you call the roll? Commissioner Fry? Yes. Commissioner Morrill? Yes. Commissioner Me? Yes. Commissioner Kelly? Yes. President Vires? Yes. <laughs> Item three, the uh, tax abatement, uh, abatement ordinance. Somebody have a motion ready? <laughs> I move we adopt uh, tax abatement ordinance 2018-07. Second. We have a motion by Kelly, a second by me. Any discussion? Mike, would you call the roll? Commissioner Morrill? Yes. Commissioner Me? Yes. Commissioner Kelly? Yes. Commissioner Fry? Yes. President Vires? Yes. Item four, the Arrowhead Golf Club membership program. I would, I would uh, move to approve the Arrowhead Golf Club membership program at a cost of $2,499 uh, per year for residents and the cost of $2,999 per year for non-residents. Second. Motion by me, second by Fry. Any discussion? Yeah, I, I just think it's important to note that it's really just a um, annual fee to cover all your golf. It's not really like a membership per se, um, like at a private club where you had, you know, some of the other amenities. It's basically you can pay one annual fee and all your golf is then included. And a locker. And a locker. <laughs> and a locker. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see how it works, right? Yes. Any be. other discussion? No. Mike, would you call the roll? Commissioner Me? Yes. Commissioner Kelly? Yes. Commissioner Fry? Yes. Commissioner Morrow? Yes. President <laughs> Byers? Yes. Item five, uh, approval of costs regarding the document scanning. Somebody have a motion ready? I'll move for the approval of costs related to document scanning and online archive program with BHFX, not to exceed $19,400. Second. Motion by Fry, second by Kelly. Any discussion? And I, I believe it's just for the files and plans for the facilities and parks throughout the district. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Is Ray going to do the scanning? Am <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. I? <Mike. laughs> no, no, abs absolutely not. <laughs> uh, any other discussion? I think we do a voice vote on this. Uh, we'll do a voice vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item six. Uh, rice pool fence. Uh, I move that we approve uh, change order um, in the amount of $2,930 to help me out, Rob. What's the name of the contractor? It's not listed. <laughs> Anybody know the name of the contractor? Hey, I, I believe that's complete fence. Yeah. No, Steve's saying no. Who is it, Steve? Well, somebody's getting a change order. <laughs> just, get, just one moment. <laughs> it's not in the middle. Was that kind of classic? On the classic, classic, classic. Oh. Almost like complete, oh, but classic. The classic fence. Classic fence. So change order to classic fence for $2,930. Second. Motion by Kelly, second by me. Any discussion? 
Like that was just the city came back to us and asked us to make some modifications. Yeah, the city wanted some some uh, uh, aesthetic improvements uh, to what we had spec, so we were happy to comply. Always happy to oblige. Always. Uh, we could do a voice vote on this. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Item 7, the Community Center Track Replacement Project. Somebody have a motion ready? I'll offer up a motion. Uh, move to approve the base bid and alternate number 1 with R.C. Wegman in the amount of $145,000 for the Community Center Track Replacement Project. Second. So we have a motion by me, second by Kelly. Any discussion? Mike, would you call the roll? Commissioner Kelly. Yes. Commissioner Fry. Yes. Commissioner Morrill. Yes. Commissioner Me. Yes. President Byers. Yes. Item eight, pond maintenance. Does somebody have a motion ready? I'll move for the approval of the contract with Integrated Lakes Management for $58,809.38 for pond maintenance. Second. Motion by Fry, second by Morrill. Any discussion? Mike, would you call the roll? Commissioner Fry. Yes. Commissioner Morrill. Yes. Commissioner Me. Yes. Commissioner Kelly. Yes. President Byers. Yes. Uh, reports from staff. Um, Mike, do you have any? Uh... No, sir. Nothing to add tonight. Okay. We'll start with Commissioners. Ray? Uh, yeah. I had the opportunity to go to the Employee Service Awards and all staff meeting uh, with a couple other commissioners, and I thought it was excellent, and I think it's a great job that you guys do that when you bring everybody together, full and part-time staff, and recognize them for years of service and the brochure you put together is very nicely done. So uh, thank you. And also just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you, Ray. Uh, we Thanks, won't be Ray. getting together, will we? And uh, I hope, <laughs> can only hope. <laughs> Terry, anything? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make uh, Commissioners uh, Fry and Kelly happy and I'll not, you know, uh, go on too long, but I do want to recognize three uh, recent events with the holiday party at Cantini, uh, the Rainier Run, which was uh, unfortunately uh, not uh, helped by Mother Nature, but you know we still had a reasonable turnout for the bad weather, and then of course uh, Ray, you know, talked about the uh, staff, uh, you know, awards uh, luncheon that was uh, really well attended and well done. But uh, like Ray, I want to you know wish our public and Mike and our staff and. Of course, my fellow commissioners and their families, a Merry Christmas and a healthy and happy holiday. And, you know, I, I do want to, it's the end of the year um, for us. And, you know, I want to commend Mike and the staff, you know, for what I think uh, was a very productive, you know, progressive and successful 2018. So, uh, Mike, keep up the great work. Thank you, sir. John, anything? No. Bob, anything? I agree with what everybody said. And Merry Christmas. And did Nicole break her ankle? Brain damage. Brain or ankle? Golden. Okay. Merry Christmas, everybody. Interesting aside there. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I saw something on Facebook that she broke her ankle. Or I, I, I want to second Terry's comments about the reindeer run, the weather, uh, although with typical Terry under uh, underspoken words there. That was the coldest I ever was in my entire life. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> but still some like 600 and something people ran in that thing, which means those people are crazy. But it right. turned out to be still a pretty fun event and memorable, I'm sure. Uh, also, uh, my fellow commissioners, I just remind you if you'd have your Mike's evaluations. Uh, Ray, you're off the hook. You already did, of course. Uh, but if everybody could have Mike's evaluations <laughs> to me by 1231. Well, and Thank you. 1231, and uh, so we can uh, go in executive session, first meeting in January for his annual review. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> I have no other comments. You've got plenty of time. I got time. Thank you. Think it through. Somebody uh, want to make a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. So a motion by me, second by Kelly. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. All right. Is that wrong? Sure. How about it?